morning guys, how are we doing tonight? Really quick video for you here. Again, thanks to our friends over at uh, YouTube. Some relaxing uh, jazz music for you here. On Monday evening, it is the 9th of May, 2022. I was going to, you know, come at you yesterday because it was Mother's Day. And uh, the reason I didn't, because it was Mother's Day and everybody was... You know, celebrating mom, and that's what you should do. It was signed into a, um, actually a national holiday in 1914 by President Woodrose. And, and uh, I always have a hard time saying his name, and I apologize for that. Uh, but it was to be held on the second Sunday of May, and it was a national holiday to all mothers. And it goes way back. I think it has a, <clears throat> I mean, it's a, it's a global thing a lot of a lot of countries celebrate uh, Mother's Day and and uh, but in this country really it was driven um, by uh, moms who lost their sons particularly in the uh, Civil War the war of northern aggression depending on where you live but anyway um, I'm just really quick here tonight because there's so much going on the Celtics are playing tonight uh, they're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. They lost by two points the other night um, on Saturday. And that was, uh, you know, it was the third period in the turnovers, nine turnovers. That just, that's, you know, sunk the Celtics. And we have to remember that the Milwaukee Bucks are last year's national champions. Uh, oh, my God, gas prices. The average price, at least now, this was yesterday. <laughs> The national average is four dollars and thirty-one cents and nine tenths. So, four dollars and thirty-two cents a gallon. Um, the average here um, in Massachusetts, as of yesterday, Sunday, Mom's Day, was four dollars and thirty-eight cents and nine tenths. So four, four forty, and it keeps ticking up. So yeah, that releasing a million gallons a day. Uncle Joe, that really, that really helped. That does nothing. Um, the federal government does not really control the gas prices, you know, or really uh, the economy in general is set by, you know, uh, the stock market, which are non, there's no liquidity there, right? Funds, funds, funds. You know, watch, if you, you got to watch the Wolf of Wall Street to really understand how the economy works in America but again um, I mean I bought a vehicle three years ago my first time with an SUV as a drummer I thought it would be a, a, a wise investment and then COVID hit and then I wasn't playing in bands I'm playing at home um, so now I'm ready to sell it um, you know uh, only 36,000 miles on it and uh, come on down um, for a bicycle or a moped, whatever. Um, it's unsustainable. Uh, inflation is up everywhere. Um, you know, I mean, I went to CVS the other day and uh, just for prescriptions and things, but because I never buy anything at CVS because everything's too expensive at CVS. But they wanted like eight dollars for for a thing of Old Spice deodorant. I mean. Wow, I mean CVS is expensive anyway, but <clears throat> so I just wanted to put that out there and a, a couple of things too. I'll be touching on some videos this week. Um, please comment below on what you folks are paying. If you find gas prices somewhere that are a little cheaper, uh, even 30, 40 cents, it all adds up, um, you know, post them below. Um, but you know, we, so we have the excuse for the summer blend. Yeah, the summer blend. And then it was Putin's price hike and it was, it's not any of that at all. You know, um, we do have a lot of resources in this country and that's all politics, by the way, you know, um, environmentalists versus Washington. But, you know, it's a lot of things. I guess my question to you is how are we back to like, we're back to saving a buck you know, baby formulas being, you know, there's a shortage of baby formula and shortage, 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 you know, and 
I thought when we came out of COVID, you know, or crawling out of COVID, if you will, that maybe the world would learn a lesson and be a nicer place to be, but it, I'm not seeing people being nice to each other at all. In this country, the war in the Ukraine, uh, today, you know, was the uh, big holiday in, in Europe and uh, Putin got up there, you know, um, saying that, uh, you know, justifying to the Russian peoples that this is why we invaded the Ukraine because they were a major threat. And maybe they were. I don't live over there. But when you look at, you know, <clears throat> like Jack Nicholson said in, in, in uh, Mars Attacks, together, Earth and Mars, together as one. Who knows? I mean, Ukraine is a, uh, I don't believe, it could be a very corrupt country. There's so many rumors about what's going on. Um, but even if you're a corrupt country, give me a break, um, doesn't really give you um, a reason to invade that country. So anyway, um, so much going on right now and the tension. So here we're going into the summer. We can open up the doors and open up the windows and just, you know, whatever, you know, kind of take the next three months to uh, take a load off, enjoy, and then we're going to climb, climb back into our houses in the fall and uh worry about whether we should have a booster shot i mean when is this going to go away when can we you know just i guess there's just no relaxing over the next from 2020 to 2025 and that that is concerning you know i i know it bothers me and i know it bothers you um but Bringing it back to a local level, uh, you know, the beer garden is opening up in Worcester uh, on Front Street. Uh, you know, I drove through Front Street today because I happen to work for an organization that trains a lot of people from abroad and from this country and, and, and had a lot of people from St. Louis, Michigan, and uh, brought them through downtown Worcester. A lot, still a lot of storefronts oh, uh, that are empty. Not much activity. Everything's polar park. Um, and I'm, you know, kind of uh, a little leery on now the departure of Ed Augustus. I don't know if you Worcesterites are feeling the same way. Um, my confidence isn't as um, high, you know, uh, when city as it was when city manager Ed Augustus was in office. But or in the position, it's not an office because it's not an elected position. It is an appointed position. Mr. Batista is in there as uh, interim city manager. So we'll see where we're going. But again, it's not their job to fill all the empty storefronts on Main Street, which is still recovering from the God awful mall that we put in in the 70s. Anyway, so we have the socks. <clears throat> Wow, 10 games on the 500 or close to it. Uh, we have the Celtics tonight. We have the Bruins put on a good game on on Saturday, beating the uh, Carolina Hurricanes, uh, the former Hartford Whalers, uh, by a score of 5-2. to two. And tonight, I'm going to watch the Massachusetts Pirates are out in San Diego. And that is arena football. Uh, no, it's fun. It's great to watch. I... I I've actually subscribed on YouTube here to uh, the IFL Indoor Football League, and it's just fun to watch. And I don't have to have any, you know, there's no heartache, you know. They lose, they lose, the uh, Mass Pirates, but, you know, um, it's just maybe the way sports should be, you know. Uh, anyway, so kind of going around and around here, but, um, you know, watch your wallet. And for me, I'm, I'm limiting um, where I have to travel. Consolidate your trips. Um, look for your bargains. And again, we're back to being, I guess, bargain basement America. You know, watch your wallets. And, uh, you know, as much money you save, you really don't have any more money, right? So, um, and that's for the working class like you and me. And that's what Cities and Suburbs is all about. Any comments, questions, any uh, any thoughts for a uh, future show, please, you know, uh, bring, them, bring them aboard, okay? But yeah, we'll see what gas is going to be tomorrow, you know? Uh, 
we're getting we're getting up there at four fifty a gallon guys and uh i do not see how that sustains sustainable you know so um for a lot of reasons so anyway guys uh we'll talk to you soon and kenny b here signing out from city of the suburbs take care and uh great talking with you tonight see you soon comment below